excerpt from the 12 chapters of The Infinite Night by Tracy Harding. Prologue, The Interdweller. We are that beyond I am, yet to realize the potential of those transcended formless ones who dwell in the primordial light realms of creation. Just as a human form is composed of atoms, so is our form composed of the human soul minds currently embroiled in the physical reincarnation loop unfolding within the earth plane. We dwell on the threshold between heavenly realms and the material world, and within the chapters of our Akashic Library, every aspect of the human condition has its place. We too have endured individual manifestations through karmic cycles of time, life, death and rebirth. We have been pure of heart, abandoned, caring and warlike. We have explored the depths of our feelings, our own destructive natures and sought answers to the great mysteries that ignited our imagination. We have coveted absolute power and knowledge, worked miracles, and relinquished all that we once held dear. All through this seemingly endless process, we as individuals came to understand that time and space are merely forms of ideas that express our cyclic activity that which seemed an endless process was only an instant broken down through time for our observation, growth and understanding. Our commitment not to contribute to this delusion liberated us from the illusion of separateness and we therefore cease to create karma in the three worlds of our physical, mental an emotional being. The physical temple we had so carefully constructed around ourselves vanished and in shedding all material matters, I merged with spirit to assume the calling of an interdweller. Attraction is the modus operandi of human beings, for they command the atomic structure of the matter required for form building in their material world. The modus operandi of the interdweller is synthesis with the human incarnations to whom we are a spiritual conduit home. We are their channel for inspiration, imagination, willpower and conscience. In times of darkness, we are to be found within. We are their means to exert influence over the material world for the benefit of the whole. We move along a similar path to those we seek to guide, only on a higher turn of the spiral, one higher octave in the grand symphony of creation. As our interdweller before us, we are the torch that leads soul minds out of karmic darkness. In mutual meditation with our human kindred, we draw them into the vacuum of our slipstream, leading them towards a greater awareness of oneness. Once the units of our being resonate in harmonious frequency, spirit and matter will sound the same note, an infinite light will illume the infinite night.